The Bears still need to address their offensive line issues, even with the sudden surge of Nate Davis, Darnell Wright, and Tevin Jenkins. Those three guys have been fantastic when they are on the field this year, but three of the five offensive linemen can't do all the work themselves. Bears, in my opinion, still need a center and still need a left tackle. I am still not sold on Braxton Jones, especially how this year has gone so far from a penalties perspective. He gets a ton. I mean, in three games, he has seven penalties at the moment and also gives up a ton of pressure when he is out there. I know he's coming off an injury, but still, when he even before the injury, he was struggling a lot. And at center, which I'll get into another day, I don't really need to go into either. The Bears are having their issues there as well. Bears still own the number two and number three overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft after this past week's results. And with one of those picks, or if they even trade back both of them, whatever Ryan Poles does, I still think that in the first round, they should pick an offensive lineman. And if they don't go through the draft for a, an offensive lineman, specifically a left tackle, there's a guy in the upcoming unrestricted free agency that could have Poles eyes for the right price. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and thank you, as always, for tuning in. Today, I am hitting on my guy I would also draft. I did another one earlier this week, but another guy I would consider drafting is Joe Alt from Notre Dame as an option to play left tackle for the Chicago Bears and Cowboys current left tackle Tyron Smith, who is going to be an unrestricted free agent this upcoming offseason as my options today at left tackle. There's going to be plenty more guys I'm going to go through th during the offseason, but these two guys right now have my attention. And I think that either of them could fill in that missing piece at left tackle. If you think that the Bears need a Lou left tackle currently on this roster this upcoming season, make sure to hit the like button on this video to show that you agree. Put your thoughts in the comment section below about players that you would want to take over at left tackle, seven or any player that you want me to go into as a whole. And if you don't mind, if you haven't already, stay up to Bears date on content, hit that subscribe button. So let's start with Joe Alt from Notre Dame. The 6'8", 319 pound offensive tackle is an athlete and comes from a, the great line of Notre Dame offensive linemen. Our good friends over at NFLDraftBuzz.com think he'd be a great snag for any team, but perfect for Chicago. An 89.9 overall grade according to them, makes him the number two ranked offensive tackle currently entering the 2024 NFL Draft with a 4.940 time for a guy that big, making him unstoppable and a muller on run blocking. But also he has a pass blocking grade of 99 out of 100. I will go a little bit more into that why. I mean, his size alone gives that. But also his run blocking is 92 out of 100. All is the guy that Chicago needs in order to solidify the edges of the offensive trenches to protect whoever their quarterback is. And there's so many things that make him special. The start at 6'8", that size is insane. He takes up a lot of space just standing there. Put his arms out, that 4'9 ability as well, and that slim, lanky frame. He is an absolute wall. And scouts think the same because they think he is way too smooth with his footwork, with his handwork for being as big as he is and how fast he is. He is insanely good as well as making sure his hands are dominated versus his opponent, especially in making sure he's keeping his blocks without starting holding, but also swatting away at defenders that might try to do a swim move on him. And also he keeps up with that speed with the defender as well. He has a very high motor and crazy stamina for a guy his size to keep him on the field for extended periods of time because we all know the Bears offense keeps getting better and better. I know there's going to be haters in the comments. I don't want to hear it. I That's just my opinion. But he dominates the run game. Again, he can get upfield super quick, but that is just something that's so great for him as well, being crazy athletic like he is. Also, would love to see this, but he did play football with at the same school as current tight end Cole Komet. You know, that little fighting in Irish connection right there. Komet could maybe show him how to do a couple things in the red zone. And I mean, at 6'8", just putting your arms up, who's going to be able to defend that? Make him like a fridge weapon on a tight end route? I don't know. I'm just I'm just putting ideas out there to make us excited. But also a leader as he was a captain at Notre Dame. I mean, he's only a junior and being a captain, that's quite the honor. 
But man, I hope the Bears really do look at Joe Alt in this upcoming draft. And if they don't look for their left tackle in the draft and they go to free agency, Tyron Smith is my guy that I would like that is a for sure thing. This is a long shot as typical, uh, not a typical move by Ryan Poles to go for a guy that's above 30 years old, but the Bears would get a future Hall of Famer in Smith if they were to bring him in. The 32 year old stands at a towering 6'5", 320, and an 8 fat. He was the ninth overall pick in 2011 from USC. The 12 year pro is an eight time pro bowler and four time all pro. He started every game that he's ever played in in his career. And out of the 8,836 snaps he's played, he's only had 78 penalties, which is a 0.00 percentage chance of him getting a penalty and has only allowed 37 and a half sacks, which is 0.004. That is insanely impressive, showing that he's reliable, and I can see why he's going to be a future Hall of Famer. He has the amazing ability to hold defenders, very good at not getting in trouble with the officials, and he doesn't allow any pressure. But he is going to be 33 years old next year, and he's also missed 20 games over the last three seasons. Not a good look in the resume book from a durability perspective. But let's say in my perfect world, they get both these guys. They draft Joel Alt and sign Smith to a respective veteran contract. Smith could be a great mentor to Alt, Wright, Jenkins, anybody on that line, and also a great depth piece. I don't see the Hall of Famer taking a depth role job or a coaching job unless the Cowboys get rid of him and no one else picks him up but he's a valuable asset to any team that keeps him and the Cowboys clearly love him to keep him around as long as they have. But those are my two guys I would love to see Ryan Poles maybe go after if we were to replace the left tackle position. Again, nothing against Braxton Jones, but I'm just not seeing it there right now. And it's one of the major pieces that's still missing. You fill that in, you have literally all the, everything that a quarterback needs from an offensive line, from running backs, from tight ends and wide receivers. The offense should work in theory as long as they get rid of Luke Getze. But with that, thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, bear down, baby. 